Jubilation rents the air as Governor Ifanyo Koa and his guests from Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki, arrive in Okwagbe to inaugurate the Otu Jeremy Okwagbe Road, initiated in March 2016. The 34-kilometer road project is now ready for use. We commissioned this road in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. The people are delighted and they ask for more projects like this from the government. These roads leading to the six communities are in very bad condition. The NSC Council Directors are taking intervention to complete them. Their next stop is the Secretariat of Ugeli South Local Government Council, where they commission internal road projects executed by youths under the State Skill Acquisition Program. To God's glory, Finally, is the Funtor Vier Bridge, which was first awarded in 1979, reawarded by Umpadek in 1991, and abandoned and later awarded in March 2017 by the Okoa led administration. It's a 100 meter long bridge with 20 meter span, a height of 45 meters from the water level, and 300 meters asphalt road with drainage channels on both sides. The Uvio Efronto Bridge was constructed to help link communities within the area as well as create a natural channel for water evacuation to help reduce flooding, which is a common experience for these communities. It's a huge sigh of relief for benefiting communities as they recount how difficult life has been before the completion of the bridge. In 2015, we talking about in the house of Honorable John Okuma, a request for the photo bridge was presented to His Excellency. It's a problem Governor Koa says he's happy to solve, reiterating his vision to connect Delta communities with roads, bridges, and provide other basic amenities as well as skill acquisition for the youths. And for the visiting governor from Edo, say the harvest of projects is evident that the 13% derivation fund is being judiciously used, intensifying the call for an upward review. The 13% could clearly be achieving what we have seen. And therefore, there is a justification to look at ways of getting more resources into this region. The harvest is not over according to the state government which says that work is currently ongoing in the Trans Worry Road and several bridges.